Hi everybody, welcome to Hobtech Cars. Today I'm going to be working on my Toyota MR2 SW20 and the objective here today is to polish up the rear tail lights on the car. I'm going to be using my Autoglim headlight polishing kit um, which will work perfectly for the tail lights as well. So I will do a video about this car um, later on in the channel history because it hasn't been properly introduced yet but it really is my pride and joy. But uh, without any further hesitation, let's get stuck into it. Good rule of thumb is, if it looks nice when it's wet, then I don't need to sandpaper it. And when it's wet, it looks very nice. So I think a polish compound will work quite nicely. Um, the rear tail lights, I mean, let's be honest, they're pretty, they're pretty good. Um, this particular section lets it down. Um, the next two are pretty good and um, this section here is a bit dull as well I do have an ultra rare genuine EL glow badge as well um, faded a bit as well fine fine a bit faded this side is really good so really when I look at that you know you should be seeing me holding the phone hello as it's very matte and dull. So I'm gonna try polish it up. Okay, so all masking taped up, ready to go. I am doing polishing sections that don't need to be done like this in-depth section. There's a customer. But it's just easier to attack the whole thing with the polishing compound. Um, and obviously the indicator lenses are perfect, lovely and shiny. For this job today, I'm going to use my Autoglim headlight restoration compound. I used it to do the headlights on my Celica and... I uh, could do these MR2 taillights the same way I did my Celica headlights. That I, you know, wet sand back, compound and then lacquer. Um, but I really think they're not that bad. Um, I definitely don't need that. So it's going to be a simple polish today. And if the tail lights fade in a year or two, I'll know then that they do need to be done properly with a wet sand and a polish and a lacquer. But anyways, today we are going to be using this. This is just the polishing pad out of my Autoglim kit. Um, it's still quite abrasive to touch the sponge, so it's just going to give me that little bit of cut that I need. Um, it's just attached to my drill and I am using polishing compound with came, which came with it. See I've just applied daubs to the actual pad itself and then I'm just gonna put that onto the headlight or the tail light I should say and just kind of daub it around and kind of get an even enough spread of it. To me now that looks like pretty good. I'll just apply a little bit more to the pad and start polishing. Right, let's get polishing. Look how good that already looks. Hello in there. Oh, that's nice. You can see me. Wink, wink. Um, that's really, really good. Oh, it's so much better than I thought it would be. That Autoglim headlight restoring compound is the stuff of legend. If you're curious or worried, this is just dried on compound, all this stuff here. I'll just get a, it's just heated up. I can peel it off of my finger. Um, I'll get some wet soap now and I'll just give it a clean. That's it, washed with the compound off it and just look how shiny that is. Hello there handsome man, um, just looks amazing. It's hard to really appreciate in a video but if I just go over to the other side again, look how flat that is, you can't see my reflection at all. You can in this fog light lens but not in the rest. 
Let's get this other side done. It looks so good. Really, really nice. Very happy with that. Very, very shiny and blends in perfectly with the indicator lenses, which were already pretty shiny. It looks so much better. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for Hubtech Cars today.